Hey guys, it's ZigZag here. So today we are going to be opening up the penultimate regular booster for Ikoriolera behemoths. Uh, we'll be opening up the last one on Monday. Tomorrow and Sunday we'll be opening up uh, collector's boosters. So, yep. Let's begin. Oh, and I remembered finally the uh, set coming out after the set coming out on September, I think, 7th is a uh, Zendikar Rising. Battle for Zendikar was the one that already came out. Yeah, I'm still learning this stuff. Or specifically um, some of the sets. I've managed to memorize most of the uh, more recent ones, but once we get past, back past uh Shadows over in a strad. I start uh, not being as good at knowing which ones are which. So first up, Day Squad Marshall. Which is right there. I mean, that's just from me being out of magic for quite a while. Dead weight. I mean, like I said before, I, I played in the early 90s and very early 2000s, so I know quite a bit about those sets, but um, that from then until uh, Shadows Over in the Strat, I know like basically nothing. Uh, Rumbling Rock Slide. Well, not nothing, but I know very little. And I could not tell you which set came out first and or even expansion symbols for most of them. Startling development. Oh yeah, I have every blue card now, so I don't even need to check that one. I mean, granted, I have every uh, common card as well, so checking these is utterly pointless, anyways. But um, like I've said before, I just like it out of habit. We're swapping these ones. Like the uh, the uh, so the booster box is from is a first print from Japan. So, but uh, the pre-release and the booster bundle were uh, adaptive shimmer were uh, American pressings adaptive shimmer so um, yeah the difference the difference that I pick up on is the fact that the Japanese pressings came out lighter in color and shading so some of the uh, unlike this card some of the darker areas uh, actually have more detail you can see more detail in the Japanese pressing but um, of one mind it's generally not a huge thing the darks look clear you can make out more detail in the dark parts in the Japanese pressings but um, sometimes you want the dark parts there just for mystique and whatever so sometimes I like the American pressings but yeah in general it's just whatever I like uh, 
humble naturalist. Some of them, like on this one, they act, the Japanese pressing actually looks a bit washed out compared to the American pressing. But um, yeah, adventurous impulse. On some of them, it doesn't make that much enough of a difference for me to actually care. Like, yeah, this one. I think you can see that there's, you can see slightly more detail, but it's not like, doesn't hugely alter the feel of the card. Uh, Heartless Act. This is an uncommon, the first uncommon of this pack. I have every black card, so I don't need to check this, but. In fact, I'm only missing one uncommon card and I already know which card it is. It is not Duskfang Mentor. Uh, there we go. nor Hornbash Mentor. Ooh, there's a foil in this pack. For the rare, we've got Karuga the Macrosage. Macrosage. Um, I do not have this card. I would remember this card. Uh, yeah. So I'm still missing quite a few of these uh, cards, but yeah, there's like no hope of getting all of these ones. Um, Karuga, the Macro Sage. Blue, green, five mana. Legendary creature, dinosaur, hippo. Five, four. Companion. Your starting deck contains only cards with inverted mana cost three or greater and land cards. When Karuga, the Macro Sage, enters the battlefield, draw a card for each other permanent you control with converted mana cost three or greater. Alright, for the foil we've got Majestic Oricorn. Which foil and comments are not terrible, but yeah. For the land, we've got Thornwood Falls. Uh, Thornwood Falls. And for the token, we have Human Soldier number five. So we are not getting all the tokens from this set. Uh, you only get 
regular tokens from actually that was the last pack anyways you only get regular tokens from regular booster packs so uh yeah the collector's booster packs you always get double-sided foil tokens so there's only one pack left and i need three regular tokens so that's not happening but i do have uh feather cat and dinosaur beast as uh alternate or er, er, foil tokens already so not actually missing them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So yeah, we got the uh, rare uh, either or card plus the foil. So not terrible. I mean the these last few packs have been quite surprising in how um, they've consistently gotten like one to two cards out that um, one to two cards that like go into the book consistently rather than like one pack having just all 16 cards be duplicates so far so Yes. All right, so put these away. So as I've said a few times, um, tomorrow we're going to be opening up a collector's booster and Sunday as well. And then we'll finish up with the final regular booster on Monday. So, yep, this has been ZigZag. Thank you for joining me. Bye.